to be 100%, I really don't give a what you think. You can have wives and you can have concubines too. If I had four wives, let's say four, let's use four. Every wife or every woman I'm dealing with may not be on the status of a wife. Okay. So thus far over the past year, you've heard Newbreed say he wants to make concubines great again. He wants to separate church and state. And as you heard him say, he don't really care what you think. Okay, so if you make donations to UP Farms, he comes up 90% short, 80% short. And it's been two, three, four years like it was with Umar Johnson and building a school. He don't care what you think. He don't care how much money you give. Really, he just wants you to give him some money. Okay, so he can make concubines great again, which is just another way for saying you're going to fund his pimp lifestyle. Word is out on these YouTube streets that he has baby mamas. Okay, and again, I've called New Breed out because he's been very indecisive on whether he wants to preach the scriptures or he just wants to give his own opinion. Remember, about six or seven months ago, you saw him and Yawithaza and Brother Mike on the land. Notice how you don't see any more videos of him showing you, giving you updates on what's going on with UP Farms since the Jamboree. Okay, he just really did what Umar Johnson did. Remember, Umar Johnson had a paint day and he had a picnic and, you know, he had all of these social functions. Okay, but nothing's getting done. All right. Now I'm on record already stating that Revelation 18 already tells us that in one hour, all their riches is going to come to nothing. So the purpose of this video is to put New Breed's feet to the fire. As I said before, I'm speaking on behalf of even the mindless idiots who continues to support this dude. They don't ask any questions. How much money do we need to donate per person? Are we going to have large donors? The donors who checked out, who were partnered with New Breed, like Ringo TV and Brainwaves. Okay, now that those guys done checked out, even Mark the Messenger, who was a potential donor. Okay, who are you going to replace those guys with? I mean, how much is your with this eye going to contribute? How much money do you intend to raise within the next 18 months, within the next 36 months? How, most importantly, how does this apply to the scriptures? Okay, because again, the scriptures never command men or even suggest that men should come together with the Gentiles in these end times. Because keep in mind, New Breed is using the scriptures to justify the coming together of all peoples. Okay, he hasn't given any direction or any instruction on who's going to go where, what land space is going to be used for those who want to do certain events, for those Gentiles who want to come and some people want to build statues and they want to build monuments. They want to have RV parks and they want to have a lot of freedom to make as much noise as they want. He's given no concrete information. Okay. And these are, again, a lot of red flags of a cult leader. Okay. Dirty Low Dow, for all his faults, at least was building things, all right? And it took him years to build Straightway. And he waited until Straightway was established, where they at least had trailers and they had smaller homes to where then he can start using the people. And of course, he started exploiting the men, making them work all these long hours, then manipulated them, saying, we're going to have all things common. Okay, what do you mean by have all things common? Can that man take his money? Can he do something extravagant, take a break from building and use the funds from that business, something that's a little less taxing on the body, use that money. And if he chooses, he can hire his workers to build another community. Instead, Dow, and I'm going to get to Dirty Low Dow. I'm going to, I'm going to do a series on this whole Dirty Low Dow Rufus situation. Because Pastor Rufus has had a lot to say about some of the evil things that he's done behind the scenes. This is a man who's promoted a bunch of football players to make them pastors. That's not biblical. Okay, a lot of these people are just mindless sheep. 
They don't ask any questions. They're just sheep for the slaughter. But continue. See, ladies and gentlemen, it's one of those situations, even if you just want to get yourself an RV and you want to, you know, park it on the land and, and have it, you know, as a place that you go visit as a contingency plan. See, the issue with a contingency plan is that the land itself, Lord knows how many miles away it is from the people's destination, their homeland. OK, so what do you mean by a contingency plan? If the grid shuts down, OK, there are going to be checkpoints established. OK, and as I said in previous videos, just look at the whole situation with Dirty Low Dow. When Pastor Mir was arrested by the FBI raid, OK, that's just peanuts compared to boots on the ground, real boots on the ground, talking about military troops. All right. They're going to have checkpoints. And I'm talking about this because New Breed is manipulating the people, saying this is what's going to happen in the end times, that you're just going to be able to build. And people are going to just store up their food. Do you have any idea how much people consume food today? Okay, yeah, some people may be able to steer away from fast food, but even the food that you cook, one meal a day, all right, people are going to panic. The script And the scriptures say this. The scriptures say man is going to seek death and not find it. Okay, so when you're talking about bringing the Gentiles into one community, they're used to living a different lifestyle than the majority of the supporters that New Breed has thus far, because the majority of his supporters are people that look like me and him. All right, but continue. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, man, in the near future, things are going to get crazy. Things are going to go haywire. It's going to be like the Hunger Games out there. Okay, those of you who watched the Hunger Games, you remember those people were thrown into the fire and them wolves, those dogs that were like demons. Okay, Revelation talks about that. There are going to be fearful sightings. Those black big dogs were chasing those kids or those young adults. Right now, New Breed is running a scam. I believe he has a certain lifestyle you know, he needs to hustle. He needs to make a certain amount of money to fund his lifestyle. Otherwise, even if he did come up with a plan and said, look, we need to raise, let's say, $500,000 in the next six months. Again, if you're smart and you're a supporter of UP Farms, you would have a plan A, a plan B, a plan C. Okay, what if we only raise $50,000 of that money? Is there, is there at least some other project that you can use that money for, okay? Versus us just giving you some money and we don't know where it's going, okay? And New Breed has been on record and maybe this is a part of some of the manipulative tactics. And as I watched a YouTube video where one guy was talking about the lesser of two evils, but one of these manipulative tactics is New Breed lets his audience know that he's not like the church, and 501c3 so basically he's 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 subtly letting them know that i'm not gonna behave like someone who's gonna use the scriptures to get money from you and say you have to pay a tithe well all that's saying is you're using a different tactic it's still manipulation but you're just using a different tactic to finesse money out of people continue and I know a lot of you all don't see it right now because everything seems to be operating. Everything seems to be flowing. Everything seems to be cool. Yes, everything seems to be flowing. Everything seems to be cool. OK, so it's easy to talk that talk right now. All right. But people coming together like that, people have different lifestyles. And let me say this. You as an individual should do your due diligence to study the scriptures that talks about the different woes. OK, I won't go directly to that passage in this video, but you can Google it on your own time. OK, the scriptures. Well, this particular verse is Luke 6, 24. Woe to you who are rich, for you've already received your comfort. I've mentioned that verse many times. OK, there's woe to those who join house to house and field to field. Woe to those pregnant and nursing babies. Woe to him who builds a town on bloodshed and establishes a city by iniquity. Woe to those who laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. 
So when you're bringing these Gentiles onto the land and they have all these curses attached to them, you're subjecting the chosen people of God to the violence of Judah. Okay, they're committing violence against Judah while everything is fine and dandy right now. How do you think it's going to be when they panic? Because they know the curses, the judgments that's coming upon them. Okay, according to the scriptures. Again, Revelation 18 says in one hour, it's going to be sudden. Okay, they're not going to be able to prepare for the checkpoints. They're not going to be able to prepare for an imminent domain. Okay, under imminent domain, military troops and foreign militaries whom are allies with the United States, they can just come in and dwell in your house. Okay, they can use your house as a camping ground. Okay, under martial law, executive orders. See, in the day of the Lord, those who have food stored up on the land are not going to rationalize and say, we'll just adjust to eating half a meal per day, even if they were doing so when things were normal. The fact that they no longer have the luxury to eat three meals per day is going to drive them insane, even if they got three years worth of food. Okay, and some people are going to have less food than others. And let's say if there are neighbors on the land and one guy got all these food stored up, but he's like, you know, this is my food. I'm, I had the right to my canned goods and my bottles of water and my boiled eggs that I can put on my skillet. I have fire. I can make fire. I can. I got wood, supply of wood to keep my family warm and heat. Okay. There's not going to be electricity. You're going to have people who are used to being on their cell phone all day. And the entertainment. He, he doesn't account for the entertainment element. Okay, the scriptures say flee to the mountains. The, just the simple fact that they no longer have 24-hour access to social media and corn is going to drive them insane. I mean, remember the scriptures say men will seek death and not find it. The lifestyle that they were used to living, they're not going to even have 5% of that, okay? And this is why it's so dangerous. Also, Newbreed saying he wants to separate church and state, he hasn't even come out and repent for saying that, okay? That's dangerous because the scriptures say the law of God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. So men who have a fear of the Lord are less likely, especially in the end times, knowing that we're closer to the coming of Christ, they'll be less likely to take a man's life or to grate his wife, okay? But again, because of idolatry, no one is asking these questions, but continue. But the truth of the matter is, there's going to come a time where austerity measures are going to be here, people are going to be running around, um, breaking in houses, there will be a lack of bread, this is all prophesied. This is all spoke of in a book of Edges. Another question to ask Newbreed is what's going to be the limit of people that can come on the land? Is it going to be 5,000 people? Okay, is it going to be 10,000? Because you know, if let's say if 10,000 sign up and pay their money, is Newbreed going to stop collecting checks? Okay, this is a guy who told Michael Israel. If you want me to appear on Whole Fast Wednesdays, I need you to cut me a check for 30 grand. You and Dirty Low Dow. Okay, so is Newbury gonna say we're stop we're gonna stop taking applications if ten thousand people signed up and it's ten thousand and counting? Okay, is he let's say if twenty thousand, just say hypothetically, twenty thousand contributed a large sum of money to the land, but the land space can only hold 15000 Okay, what will Newbury do with the rest of the money? You see what I'm saying? Will he have someone who documents and separate those who want to give out a free will from those who are actually anticipating building something on the land or having some investment in the land? Okay, seven months have went by and none of these questions have been answered. All right. How, because of the lack of bread, people will be rummaging, pillaging, destroying households. You know, people won't be safe. It's literally going to come to that. Why? Because you're watching a dollar collapse. You're watching, you're watching um, a whole lot of sin on this here earth. Okay. <laughs> you heard him say that. 
And you heard earlier, he said a man can have as many concubines as he want, right? Now, I'm not going to even get into the Old Testament law. How are you going to register and keep up with whose concubines belong to who? Okay, if we're seeing a lot of sin now, how do you think it's going to magnify when that day of the Lord comes? Okay, and again, no man even knows the hour. Okay, it says it's going to be rumors of wars, but these things are going to be birth pains. So you're not going to know how to prepare for that day, except you go seek the Most High in isolation, pray and fast. And as the scriptures say, pray that you be counted worthy to escape the judgments that's coming upon this place. You see that? And it's all cultivating the perfect storm, so to speak. And what's to come out of it is anarchy, chaos. We're talking about real live purges going on in these cities. When they make movies like Leave the World Behind, they're not making these movies for no reason, ladies and gentlemen. This is predictive programming to, to show you what's to come. Again, the scriptures say, woe to those who join house to house and field to field. Okay? Ask Newbreed, if you get 15,000 people together, because that's his goal, okay? He already told you, he said, I'm on a new level. I want to separate church and state. So that means the rainbow people, they can come. Anyone who practices the abominable, they can come. Anyone who takes advantage of the innocent, they can come. Okay, long as they cut him a check, all right? So ask Newbreed as I close this video. Does he believe in the end times when people are going to have lack? They're going to only have 5% of what they currently have. And that includes from full clothing and raiment, okay? Having a roof over their head with running water. And the entertainment value is going to go down to less than 1%. So bringing 15,000 people, ask Newbreed, are 15,000 people hypothetically, or even 1,000 people, or 500 people, are going to be on the same page, mind, body, soul, and spirit, okay, according to the word of God, because that's the only thing that's going to govern people, or even have a shot of governing people who believe in the scriptures in these end times. Are all those people going to come together as one? Ask Newbreed that. Because he's really giving Ponzi scheme. He's giving polite. All right. It's very sketchy. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this concubine situation as well? How will he govern that? What if Brother Mike, a spirit comes on him in these last and evil days, and he decides to lay with one of Newbreed's concubines? Okay, you gotta, you gotta go there. All right. There's no honor among thieves. But anyway, let me know your thoughts and I'll be back with more. Enjoy the rest of your day.